As we keep walking in, we have the thermostat. You have a power mode button, an up and down arrow. So turn it on, you press the mode power button. You press it again. We're gonna get high, low, or auto. So what that does, if it's in auto, if you have your AC or heat running, you set it to the temperature, it's gonna kick on and off like it would at your house. If you have it on high or low, it will just continue to run until it's too hot and you gotta do something about it or too cold. Press it again, we get cool, and then we'll wait for the AC to kick on and then we'll turn the heat on. So the AC kicks on. And then we go to furnace, the AC will kick off and the furnace will kick on. The AC might run a little bit longer. Then our furnace kicks on. Then if we press it again, it just goes back to off. Coming a little bit farther, we have the TV radio entertainment center. Remote for the TV. Just turn it on. Right now we're running off antenna. So wherever you're at, you will have to rescan for your local channels. Here we get about 30 of them. But for where you are at, if you do need to rescan, I'll show you how. So on your remote, you find the menu button. So it could be set up or menu. So this one is set up. You go over to channel on the TV screen. You want to make sure you're on air if that's what you're doing. If you're doing cable, you switch to cable. So air, auto scan, and we'll let that scan and we'll move on and come back. <clears throat> Down below the TV, we have the radio. It's a CD player, it's a DVD player, Bluetooth. So you got a power button, turn it on. Go to the station we pick up. Volume, control. And then on the left side, it says zone one or zone two. And it correlates up here, you see a one or a two. So if I press it, the one disappears, the music inside stops, but we can play outside. So that's our outside speakers. Or we turn zone two off and have zone one on, or you can have them both on. So that's a standby mode. If you want to turn it all the way off, you press and hold the power button. And our TV's still trying to pick up channels. We're at four right now. Down below, we have a carbon monoxide LP leak detector. So green light, it's good. If it's red, flashing, making noise, uh, you want to get out. Turn off your propane. Then in the kitchen area, we got the sink. This is a double sink here, so you got both sides. On all your fixtures, if they're not labeled, left is hot, right is cold. This one has a little red ring. This one has a little blue ring as well, though. So just turn it on. And the noise, I don't know if you can hear it in the video, it's the water pump running. Once it builds pressure back up, it will shut off. And then for the stove, same thing as outside, you're going to want a lighter. We have our burner controls here. It's labeled for which burner it controls. Turn up the light. And they all turn on. And then you can turn them down or off. If there's any little kids around, these, if you turn it, just because it's there, it, it's still gonna, gas is still gonna come out. So you wanna make sure those are always off. And our TV kicked on, so you can see we have some channels. <laughs> For the oven, you have to light the pilot first. So I'm gonna go down here and then I'm gonna block the camera so I can light it, but. Down at the bottom here, right where the tip of this lighter is, that's where your pilot's going to be lit at. So I'm going to light it now. On the knob up here, you want to turn it to pilot, and it says push and hold. So you push and hold it in, so the gas flows. Go down here, 
and hold the lighter on it until it lights. So once it's lit, you can let go of the button. You can see the blue flame, the pilot light's lit. And if we turn it on, there's temperature controls on the dial. You're gonna see the burners kick on. So you're done cooking, you can either turn it back to pilot, but when you do that, you're gonna be wasting propane, so you can just turn it off if you'd like. Down below where this panel's off at, that's where your water heater's at. So when we get to winterizing, we'll be accessing that more. Above the stove and oven, we have a little vent here. You got a light switch so you can see when you're cooking and you got a little exhaust fan. Microwave, it's gonna be your standard microwave, just two times smaller. And then on the fridge, you got a freezer fridge. Up top, you have your controls for it. You have on or off, which is gonna turn the complete system on or off. Right now, there's a green light on auto. So what that is gonna do, is if I go and plug this right now, it'll automatically switch to propane. If I plug this back in, it'll automatically switch to electric. So that's why I recommend keeping it. But if you only want to run propane, this button right here where it says gas, you just press, it pops out, the auto light goes off, and then it's going to light on propane. For some reason, if it doesn't light on propane, where it says check, the green light will come on. If that happens, usually just turn it off, wait about five seconds, turn it back on, and then let it try again. If it doesn't work again, check, make sure you have gas, propane's on, everything else. We'll turn that back to auto. And inside... You got the fridge and freezer. Well, it's getting pretty cold. It's been on for about an hour or so. If you're traveling for a weekend, um, Friday before you go to work or something, just turn it on so it gets cold. Right? You plug it into your house, let it get cold. That way you're not wasting propane. And in this area, we have the half bathroom. So the toilet and the sink and the door that goes outside. Inside you have a little hand crank vent, so it's only exhaust. So you crank it open and you turn the fan on. Now this does not have a max air cover on it, so if it is raining you want to make sure it's closed. When you're driving down the road you want to make sure it's closed. Flushing our toilet, <clears throat> there's a foot flush here. All you gotta do is press down. Now you see there's a little slider there. As it press down it starts to go away and lets the water go down. So if you just go and pee, you don't need a lot of water in there. If you're doing the other one, this applies to both bathrooms. You just barely press down on this until you start getting water coming out. And our plunger's not letting anything go down. Fill up the bowl a little bit. And then after you're done doing your business, you can flush it. Having that extra water in there just keeps stuff from sticking to the sides. And then in the back we have the bunk room. You got the top bunk up here, all the storage. This is storage plus a built-in ladder. So you got steps all the way up. And we got our little sofas down here. They pull out into beds. And we have the top bunk. It can flip up. It's got a latch on both sides. So you can have it up to have more room. You can travel either way. I prefer traveling with them down just so you're not putting more stress than you need to on the latches. Back in the living room, kitchen area, we have your dinette right now. It's laid down for bed configuration. Cushions come off, fill in the center, and then you have your bed. Making it back into a dinette. Put all your cushions back. This table just lifts up. Get it out of the way. Then we got two bars. There's two ways to do this. You can take these bars and stick them in the bottom posts and then line up the table, or stick them in the table and then put them in the post. Either way works. There's no right way and there's no wrong way. So I'm blindly guessing once I get it on here, move it over to where it needs to be and secure it down. 
And then above the dyna, you just got a little light, a little push button up here to turn it on or off. Underneath the dyna, there's two cabinet doors that open. So storage underneath there. Blue bag, black bag, depends on what model you buy, who you buy it from. This is going to have all your manuals and everything you need in it, and usually remotes as well. For our sofa, just a sofa, it turns into a bed as well. Cushions just come off. This one you just grab from the middle in between here and here, lift up, pull it out, and you have two bars here. They're going to flip down. So these just come down like this, and then we have this back piece, it's hinged, and then you just flip it on down, and then you got your bed here. Put it away, flip your back piece up, close your legs, close it down. Into the hallway, you got the main bathroom in here. It's a double entry, so from the hallway or from the bedroom. Toilet's gonna have the same function as the toilet in the half bath. Press down, you get water, you got the sink, you got the vent with the fan up above us, and then you have the shower. So this shower, you turn it on, same thing, hot or cold. If you want to run the shower, you just lift up this little knob and you get your shower water. 